Boom goes the motor that goes unchecked. How can you keep tabs on the heart of your beloved beast? A wideband air fuel ratio gauge is a great way, including various other gauges, including temperatures, pressure, and knock. Air fuel ratio gauges, what do they do and how do they help? To simplify, it's an oxygen sensor tied to a gauge. They come in two styles, narrow band and a wide band. Narrow bands have three readings, lean, stoic, and rich. Anything above stoic is rich. Anything below stoic is lean. A wide band is more precise and actually gives numeric readings. Wide band air fuel ratio gauges will read an air fuel or lambda. Air fuel will change with fuel type where lambda will not. For example, 91 pump gas, stoic is 14.7. But E85 stoic is 9.75, and that number will change as ethanol contents change. But if you read in lambda, stoic will always read 1. Doesn't matter if it's pump gas, E85, or E40, the reading will always be the same. Wideband air fuel gauges are very straightforward to install. They will require switch power for the gauge and a sensor that will be installed in the exhaust. Pay attention to the specs because different manufacturers require the sensor to be placed at different spaces away from the head and or turbocharger. Most widebands include two outputs, one that can be used to simulate your narrowband sensor and another one that can be hooked to a data logger or your standalone ECU. A wideband is only part of the picture. You should also keep tabs on other various fluids, pressures, and temperatures to make sure that your beloved engine does not go pop. I'm Randall with SNR. Thank you for watching this tech video. Good night.